Hi, I'm Kathy Stone, the Gallery Coordinator at the Carlisle Arts Learning Center, and I want to introduce you to an artist in our newest exhibit. Some of my mixed-media acrylic paintings contain transfers. I begin with a digital photograph that I've taken. Most recently, the images are from Yellowstone and the National Elk Refuge near Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Using Photoshop, I remove the background and the middle values and reduce the image to a silhouette. Then I print the image on plain bond paper, and the transfer is made by applying gel medium directly to the printed image. The image is placed face down on the substrate and allowed to dry for 24 hours. I begin to remove the white paper much like removing the label from a jar. What remains is a black image which is embedded into the gel medium. Then I move on to playing with the negative space and the positive shapes and I never know what will happen. To create the background textures of some of my paintings, I first apply a, a paint layer to the substrate and then spread plastic, um, like dry cleaner bags, over the wet paint. So a caustic painting is done on a hard surface which has been prepared with a special gesso for a caustic painting and then layers of uh, beeswax and pigment are applied to the surface and then each layer of wax is fused with a heat gun. Encaustic comes in several forms. Um, you can make your own encaustic paint by using the medium, which is beeswax. Like little granules. And then mix oil paint with that. let it melt. It also comes, because it comes in stick form um, and also you can use uh, the beeswax medium with a uh, dry pigment. So the first layer of wax is applied and then a heat gun is used to Fuse the wax to the surface with just enough heat to create a shine. So this is a mixture of clear shellac and Pearl X interference white. I'm going to mix that up and then apply it to the fused encaustic work. 